Did you know that you can use Advanced Custom Fields Pro to do a lot more than just adding custom fields to posts and pages? If you're ready to up your ACF game, stick around and be inspired. Hey, I'm Megan, a web developer and website strategist. I teach web designers and developers how to improve their development skills. I educate business owners on conversion optimization and website strategy, and I help brand designers build out beautiful, functional websites for their clients without stressing over code. In this video, I'm going to share a few of my favorite little-known ways to make the most of your ACF Pro license. If you've only been using ACF to add custom fields to your sites, you're missing out on some of its coolest features. If you've been around the WordPress development world for long, you've almost certainly heard of, and become a fan of, advanced custom fields. The vast majority of WordPress developers know how useful ACF can be. It makes adding custom fields to the WordPress admin area a snap. But ACF Pro users get access to a lot more capabilities, and if you're not taking advantage of them, you aren't getting your money's worth from your Pro license. Here are a few of my favorite non-traditional ways to use ACF when developing a WordPress website. Number one, ACF options pages. So how can you use ACF options pages? You use options pages to add a page to the WordPress dashboard that contains options or settings that can be accessed globally. Then you create a new field set with ACF that contains the options you want to set up on your new options page. So how do I use ACF options pages in my development business? Primarily, I use them um, to create settings pages for custom post types archives. The settings on these pages cover things like number of posts per page, some custom content for the archive page, maybe redirects. These are things that I don't want to hard code into the theme file since they make the site less customizable down the road. Here's an example of an ACF options page I created for a WordPress site I developed last year. This particular options page corresponds to a custom post type that I created called bonuses. And I have a few options here. These are all ACF custom fields. So I wanted to let the end client be able to change out these button images for their bonuses and let them be able to pick a new archive page for bonuses. And then I'll show you what that looks like over here. And this is the actual bonuses archive. So if you click on one of the bonuses, you can see there's our button. And if they came over here and changed this download button image, it would also reflect here on the actual bonus button. Feature number two, dynamically populating an ACF select fields choices. So how can you use dynamically populated ACF fields? To pre-populate the choices in an ACF select field with custom data that doesn't have to be manually entered or updated. How do I use ACF dynamically populated fields in my development business? Usually by pulling values from a repeater field on a custom options page to use in the ACF select field. For example, say I have a color repeater field on an options page so that my clients can update colors for a custom post type easily in the future. Then I use a dynamically populated select field on that custom post type to pull all the current colors from set options field. Automating this process is a lot easier for the end client than trying to explain to them how to keep multiple fields and options in sync and having them go into the ACF menu in the dashboard. So here's another example of an options page on that same WordPress site I showed you earlier. And this one is going to correspond with a dynamically populated select field. So this is the options page for the printables custom post type on the site. And one of the fields in particular is called editions. So this site has different editions of their printables for members to download. And these editions were going to update occasionally, so the end client needed to be able to make changes to these in a way that was easy. So I created this printables options page and gave them a repeater field here 
where they can add a new printable edition or they can come in and edit any of the existing editions and have those changes display on the front end of the site immediately. So for example, here's the front end of the site that members see. This is the printables custom post type archive. And as you can see here, all of the different editions that are listed as options right here. Now the dynamically populating part, if we go to the existing printables and edit one of them, right here you can see the printable edition field and it gives us a pre-populated list of all of those editions that were on the options page. So when the end client comes in and adds a new printable edition or edits an existing printable edition, those changes are automatically applied to the edit screen of existing or new printables. So this select menu is automatically updated whenever they update the options on the printables options page. If these advanced uses of ACF have intrigued you and you're interested in finding out more ways to use ACF, the first place you should go is actually the ACF documentation. It contains a wealth of resources that can inspire you to use ACF in all new ways. I'll include a link to the ACF docs below and there's one in the blog post that goes along with this video along with several other links. Some of my favorite tutorials from the ACF docs are creating a front-end form with ACF, including ACF in your plugin or theme, so distributing ACF with your code. Um, note, I did not do this with Easier Business Blogging, my WordPress plugin, because of the restrictions on sharing ACF Pro. Um, hiding the ACF menu from clients in the WordPress dashboard so they can't make changes to your custom fields. Querying and ordering posts by your custom ACF fields. Sorting a repeater field. Adding custom settings to your fields. Adding your own field type to ACF. And bi-directional relationships, which means when you update a field on one post, for example, it also updates on the other post that's related. That's pretty cool. So what's the coolest thing you've ever done with ACF? Let me know in the comments below. ACF is a lot more powerful than many developers realize. Take some time to get familiar with all of its possibilities and the time you invest will pay off in the long run. If you're looking for other ways to improve your web development process, check out my Web Developers Tech Toolbox. It gives you a starting point for improving your development workflow and saving yourself some coding time. And who doesn't want to save time, right? If you're interested in checking it out, click through to the blog post that I link in the description box and scroll down to the bottom. There's a form you can sign up and receive the tech toolbox right in your emails. Thanks for watching. See you next time.